In December, the DNC suspended Bernie Sanders' access to Van because they claimed that one of his staffers had breached Hillary Clinton's voter data files. Now, this staffer, we later found out, was supplied to Bernie Sanders' campaign by the DNC. But nonetheless, time and again, this has been a go-to strategy for the DNC, and they're not really worried about whose voter file data are uh, breached and whatnot, because Bernie Sanders' campaign claims that their voter files was breached by the Hillary Clinton campaign, and nobody did anything about that then. And also, Hillary Clinton breached Obama's voter data files in 2008, one of her staffers did, and nothing was done about it. And furthermore, the DNC has cut off Tim Canova's access to Van in Florida and Alex Law's access to Van in New Jersey. So this is a go-to strategy for them to try to stifle the campaigns of progressive challengers to the establishment candidates that they love so much. So I've got an update for you guys on that story. It's official, Bernie Sanders is suing the DNC. So The Hill explains that the Sanders campaign served the Democratic National Committee with its lawsuit over access to party voter files. It said Thursday in a court filing. U.S. District Judge Tanya Chutkin had given the campaign a Thursday deadline to serve the DNC with the suit or risk having it dropped from the federal court. In the new filing, the campaign said the two sides continue to engage in cooperative discussions in their efforts to resolve the pending litigation and will keep the court updated on those discussions. Now, the Sanders campaign said, we are dealing with the DNC on an issue where we felt that they did not deal straight with us from the beginning. So the reason to keep this in place was to make sure Senator Sanders is treated fairly in this process, the source told The Hill. This filing is very procedural. We went through with it because the report is not yet complete. DNC spokesperson Mark Postenbach echoed that optimism in a brief statement to The Hill. We continue to have productive discussions with the Sanders campaign and look forward to resolving this matter, he said. Okay, so to basically break this down, uh, yes, Bernie Sanders is officially suing the campaign, but he may not actually follow through with it if he can somehow settle or resolve this with the DNC themselves, uh, because he, he just has to file the suit Otherwise, it's going to be dropped, and he doesn't really want to drop it yet because he knows that the DNC is going to resort to these same dirty uh, tricks once it's dropped. So, he's just doing this to keep it open, but he doesn't necessarily have the intentions of following through with the suit fully. And uh, so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to criticize Bernie Sanders for a minute. Buddy, love your campaign. I'm going to vote for you, but you're being too nice here. This is broader than your campaign. Um, this isn't just about you. This is about the Democratic establishment using this dirty trick against other progressives as well. Again, as I've stated, you're not the only one who they cut off access to Van of. So to let them go sets a precedent and tells the party and basically gives them permission to continue to resort to these dirty tricks. And guess what? We're not going to do a damn thing about it. So have that at DNC. Continue to violate the rules, your own rules that you set up. Continue to treat progressives like dirt and then expect us to vote for you come November. It's a despicable strategy and they need to be sued entirely to be taught a lesson. So please, Bernie Sanders, do not settle. Follow through with the suit. Sue them so that way they don't do this again and that way they're actually scared because if there's anything that they're scared of, it's a lawsuit. Maybe not because they're worried about the cost, but because this is going to generate a ton of press that could potentially harm the Democratic Party and whoever their nominee is come November. So as soon as Tim Canova threatened a lawsuit, guess what happened? They restored his access as well. So we have to make sure that we keep the pressure on them. Now, by buckling, now I'm not going to say that he's going to buckle, but by saying that you, you would potentially settle this outside of court, it's frustrating. They have to be sued. They're in the wrong here. You have every right to sue them. Now think about this. They've been doing this. They've been cutting off the campaigns of progressives access to Van to suppress their campaigns. This is the Democratic Party, but yet it sounds more like the undemocratic party to me than anything. So Bernie Sanders, uh, please do not settle stick with this, follow through with it, sue them, regardless of the consequences of the election, because this is unethical. And one of two parties that are actually electorally viable in this country should not be resorting to these tactics. So we have to sue them to teach them a lesson. Don't you dare settle, Bernie Sanders, please. Don't be the nice guy, because thus far, it's, it hasn't gotten you very far with the DNC. They've done everything to tip the scale in favor of Hillary Clinton's campaign and we cannot let up here. We have to punish them. We have to set a precedent that they can't keep resorting to these destructive tactics to your campaign and other progressive campaigns.